Hello everybody, welcome back to Serve Neat. We're doing another video and in the mail, I got this right here, okay? So it's a box that came in. Let's check out what's inside of this. Check it out. Let's check it out. When we open it up, and it has a recipe on it. Also, it has a little note for me on it. So thank you very much, 100 Mill Street Gin. Okay, so I'm super excited because at first, when we started this channel, we did not, well, I did not like gin too much, but trying different kind of gins out, I kind of start liking it, very surprisingly. But that's what this channel is all about, trying new things, doing a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of different things. Anyways, let's get back to the box, let's check it out. And the first thing that we have is this right here. It's Pappy Bourbon Bear, um, aged in Pappy Van Winkle Bourbon Berry Barrels. Um, it is a bourbon barrel aged old fashioned cocktail mixer. So that's fantastic. Super excited about that. Bam. Okay, next one. Some cherries. These are fantastic, by the way. So check those out. Use those in your cocktails. Okay, next we have huge, absolutely huge. An orange for my old fashioned, of course, right? A sticker. That is really cool. And a bottle for us to try. So we're about to try this neat, of course and uh, see where it gets us. All right, so we have our 100 mil straight gin here. Um, it is not, I don't know if it's, it's not clear. It's kind of like, um, I don't know what's called, what that color is called. A little bit orange tint to it. Okay, so we're gonna pour it. It is 42% alcohol by volume, right? Um, also, it's from Wisconsin. It is batch number 18 and a bottle number 53. So it is a cool bottle. Um, 375 milliliters. So we're gonna pour it. And they suggest to drink it neat, which we love, of course, right? And uh, with an orange twist to it. We're gonna save this for later on. So we're gonna try it neat first. And then later on, we are gonna make a drink with it. Um, they have instructions how to make the drink, so I'm excited for that, okay? So let's try it. First of all, it doesn't even smell like gin. It has a really uh, rich smell to it. Ooh, it is kind of like A little bit of licorice, but not quite like it. It is definitely different kind of gin. Man, how do I describe that? It is, it tastes like gin with a little bit of licorice in it. Uh, normally I don't like licorice, but it works for this. It's kind of strange. Sometimes just different things come together and it kind of works out. Okay, so we're about to try this drink out. And, um, I'll let you know what I think about it, right? Okay, so first thing, put the ice in the glass, of course. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour two to three ounces of our gin. So we're gonna do that, okay? And I like the top to it, it's a little cork. But, okay, so we're gonna put, we're just gonna put two ounces in it. Two ounces of the gin, right? And then we're gonna put a quarter of old, of Pappy Old Fashioned, this also came in a box, so thank you very much. We're gonna put a quarter ounce of that in there, right? So that's gonna go right on top. Has a lot of color to it, I love it. And then we're gonna put some cherries, which came also in the box. And put two cherries in there, right? Love them. And then we're gonna stir. I'll stir it up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Now it looks like this. Does look like an old fashioned, of course. And then we're going to add an orange peel to it. All right. Just gonna put that in there. And bam, fantastic. Here's your old fashioned. So cheers, thank you very much. Man, it definitely has, it has fantastic flavors to it. It's definitely different. It does not taste like an old fashioned, but it has a unique type of flavors to it. Man, it has a rich flavor to it. Uh, again, the, the gin itself has a lot of flavor to it. And then adding everything else makes it nice and warm. So cheers. Thank you very much. And as always, serve it neat.